is up you guys if you guys haven't already please like and subscribe down below push that notification button just so you guys can know every time i post a new video for the future so much has changed so much has happened so i thought i would dedicate this video to one catch you guys up but also just kind of introduce myself. I know I haven't really went in depth of just my introduction, why I made a YouTube channel, and just what I'm about. So thank you also for those people who have subscribed, are supporting me, following me in all social medias, not just here. I appreciate you all. And also, I'll be showing you guys kind of like my everyday use. Do a little natch, natural look for you guys. Um, and I'm also going to be drinking coffee. First off and foremost, my name is Natalie. Um, and that's all you guys need to know. <laughs> yeah, I am born and raised in California. I currently live in California right now and I am currently pursuing my dream of being a radiologist. Backtrack to that, I have been in college for eight years. Um, I was one of those people that after high school graduated and I was just, just went straight into community college not knowing what I was doing. I had no passion. I didn't know like what I wanted to do, but it did teach me a lesson to slow down and that I don't always have to have it together. No one really does. There's no rule book that you have to go into college like right out of high school. I'm just more thankful that I found my passion and that is becoming a radiologist. I do want to pursue sonography and I do want to become an ultrasound tech. So. I am in the middle of doing that while working a full-time job and juggling a social life. I am currently finishing my prerequisites. Um, I have one more class to go in the fall and then I can apply to a radiology program. I've been talking about this dream for maybe like four years and the fact that like I'm like literally like so close to like reaching it is just giving me more of like a drive to keep going. I'm not gonna lie, like it does get hard, especially working a full-time job. Um, I do now have a fiance. Um, I just got engaged earlier this month and it's really exciting. Um, if you guys don't follow our family channel, I will link it. It's Del Familia. That's where we kind of do just the inside of our life together with his son. So I do step parent and yeah, I've been with my man for almost six years. It'll be six years in November. And I'm just excited to start our new chapter. If you guys like have any questions about like anything, like if it's hard to step parent, if like how hard is it to juggle like full time while going to school part time like I can answer all those questions just leave them down below in the comments I'm not saying I have all the answers but I can definitely give you guys advice because I've been there totally forgot that I was going to show you guys doing my makeup while I'm talking I swear I like cannot multitask <laughs> so I already prepped my face um, I do use toner and moisturizer and then also sunscreen before putting on anything else. So I went in with my Bliss Watermelon Replenishing Toner. Side note, please excuse all this acne situation going on. Um, it just has a little bit of mix of stress and it is my time of the month. <laughs> and then after the toner, I do go in with the Camilla Oil, also by Bliss. It's a good moisturizer. And then after that, I prepped it with a sunscreen. I really like the Neutrogena. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my primer, which is the e.l.f. The reason why I made a YouTube channel was one, to break out of my shell. Um, I am a, I wouldn't say shy person, but I would say that I did or do still sometimes struggle with what people think of me and I thought making a channel would just kind of help me like just break out and not care what people think. It actually has been helping. Now I don't really care what people think of me, where the judgment is. I think what was really important in me making this channel is just like not caring about the negative outcome and more of just what's going to help me move forward in life because I don't want to be stuck just being scared all the time of what people think but I've gotten so much better at it throughout the years that I feel like I have a good hold. The other reason was because you know I wanted to show people like that it is doable to juggle going to work full time and you know pursuing something that you've always wanted to do. I've heard like people like say like oh like I wish I can go to school or I wish I could like change my life to a dream that I've always wanted but you know work or life. Who's to say that like you still can and like I just wanted to show that it is doable like look at me for example going to college for eight years you would think that like you know what it's been eight years I'm over it I'm over going to school I'm not gonna lie I do have those thoughts here and there I do think about that sometimes there are times where I feel like I'm not being motivated but never in my thinking process have I ever thought you know I'm just gonna quit and so whenever I think of that I do switch my thought factor and surround my environment with things that are gonna motivate me to stick it through but yeah that was the main like that was also another main reason why I wanted to make a YouTube channel because maybe people like need the help disclaimer I am by no means like a professional makeup artist, but I did teach myself and these are just products that do work for me and I thought like why not share it with you guys and so that's what I'm going to do. A lot of these things are affordable, you know, like I'm a college student, like I'm going to like budget like what I get, you know, I'm not, I used to blow my money on everything and like a lot of the times the most expensive products that I've used did not work and that is not bashing on anyone at all. So I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. eyebrow kit. It has like a pomade and powder and then I just recently picked this up because I broke my other one. It's a, just an angled brush for to do my eyebrows. And now fast forward, I'm now engaged. To the love of my life, we do cool parent. Um, he has a son, eight years old. We're really happy. If you guys haven't already, or if you're new to this and you haven't, we do have our engagement video up on our family channel at Del Familia, and you guys can totally check it out. <laughs> I am in the process of moving out of my mom's. So that's why like I just kind of took a break off of YouTube and I'm not gonna lie like I am so excited but like scared at the same time and it's an exciting change. I was raised by my mom all my life and I've been raised by like strong women like my aunt, my mom, my older cousins. So I've always had like that mindset to always have my own path when it comes to what I want to do in life. And they've like always just raised me to just 
do what I want to do. Don't let anyone hold me back. My mom is probably my biggest like supporter through everything. Even when I mess up in life, she just like never like holds a grudge. She's always just like keep going. Me and my fiance are just like excited to start our new chapter. Like we're both growing from the ground up and financially we both started from the bottom together and so for us to like see each other succeed and keep growing is just like a beautiful thing i'm telling you guys i feel like i suck at like doing like these makeup looks while talking and I actually use foundation instead of concealer when I'm shaping. I think like the only, like the one thing that I am gonna be like is gonna take some adjusting is just like not going to like my mom's house. You know. But I think I'm still gonna be here at least like once or twice a week, if not weekends. Just to hang out with her. I'm super blessed to like have a mom that I can call like my friend and my best friend. Like sometimes like things are like hard to like talk to her about. I still like end up telling her and like I know like in the long run She's just, I don't want to cry. She just, I know she's just going to be there 100%. I think like that's probably going to be like, Maybe I should get off this topic. <laughs> That's probably like gonna be like the hardest thing. Yeah. But you know, <laughs> baby bird has to fly. She has to leave the nest. I feel like things are falling into place with my life. I finally have like a good foundation. I'm happy with my life. I'm happy with the people that are in it. This year has like definitely like taught me lessons, taught me who I am. Like I'm still learning about myself. And it's just a beautiful thing. To shape my eyebrows, I use the CoverGirl Olay Ageless Rewind, and this is really good. I actually use this for my like foundation as well. It has hyaluronic complex and vitamin C. I use the Huda Beauty um, Face Conceal and Blend, and I really like this because it has like a fluffy side and then like more of a precise side. Eyeshadow. So I'm gonna actually prep them with concealer first. Elf 16 hour camo concealer. And I use Fair, I think that's what it is. Fair Warm. And this is my ring. Super cute. I feel like such like an adult. Is that weird? <laughs> His son is actually excited for us to get married. I've known that kid since he was like two and a half. Like I said, everything just like fell into place. Of course, we were worried about it because Nico, which is my stepson's name, to accept us getting married, you know? Like that's literally like... You know, of course, like it's Carlos's like best friend, like that's like his life, and obviously, like he's a huge factor in my life too. 
So when we did tell him, he was just like uncontrollably like jumping and smiling and laughing, but like a good like excited laugh and like I was like I don't know, it was just such like a cute moment. Now I'm gonna go with my small little Naked Urban Decay Basics and I'm gonna go in with Venus. Um, and yeah, so let's get to it. I'm using just like this fluffy brush. I think this is a real technique brush. I'm not entirely sure. He's excited for us. We're excited that he's excited. He keeps talking about, so how long till you guys can get married? It's funny. I kind of want it a little like lighter. So I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I'm going to use the lightest. I'm just like, have been like moving my things in and Carlos is so sweet, he's just been like accommodating and like making room for me even though like I have enough room but he's been making more room for me and he tells me all the time like this is your room too, like this is your home, like whatever you want to do to decorate the room, go ahead. And he's been really sweet about it. We're excited for a new chapter. And I'm excited for my chapter with YouTube. I do want to say, like, I really enjoy video editing. I feel like I found, like, my new hobby. It, for me, like, it's just so... It's, like, relaxing, but it's, like, also rewarding. Like, even if I don't get as many views or you know, that appreciation, just like, I know, like, it's a rewarding feeling to like have it, like, be your own vision, and like, every time I like video edit, I, like, I have a vision in my head, and for me to like actually create it on our video editor, like, it's just a really cool feeling. So now, I am going to go in with the L bronzer. I believe it's called Forever Sunkissed. And I'm just gonna use one of these like fluffy brushes. I got this as like a birthday present. Shout out to Maria. <laughs> when I'm blending, I just go like really lightly and I hold like the tip of it. I think I am going to probably go a little darker. I'm gonna use my L'Oreal LA palette. I really like this one. I'm gonna go in with this color. They don't have me. It's number five. So I went in with the brown. And I like to do place it where I'm gonna be using it. And then I blend. We want to like make sure our careers are set and he's been like super supportive with that. Like, I mean, he's pretty much working his career already, but he is also getting ready to graduate in January with a communications major. And, you know, he just like always tells me like, once I get into a program, like, to just worry about saving. He's like never made me feel like, oh, like you rely on me or anything. Like we're a team. And he's never made me feel like he's taking away my independency. We're also like, you know, having me go get ready to go back to school. He's actually going to be in virtual school where, you know, the teacher just sends out the lessons online and then parents teach them. And luckily, like right now with my job, I had a little bit more leg room to help out in that. And obviously, like, you know, when Carlos gets home, like, he helps out. We do a little switch. That's like a really, like, big key 
to like any relationship is just like having that communication um, especially like romantic relationships just like knowing each other's love language like what helps them like feel appreciated or reassured because not everyone perceives things the same way that you do and that's something that we both have learned down the road and you know like I really feel like him pursuing communications and me taking a communications class has helped in that tremendously and that also has helped me like branch out of my shell as well i mean before this you guys knew how i was at the beginning you would think like i am a totally different person now but i mean it's still the same me i'm just like more out there now more myself bada boom bada bing I feel like you never like finish learning about yourself. Honestly, like I've been like sitting here, I'm just like not like you're engaged and I just like sometimes like pause and I'm so like what? Like like am I sitting in a dream? You know? It's crazy. They always tell you like You'll get engaged like when you least expect it and it was definitely unexpected. So I am done with my shadow. With that I'm actually going to start with a foundation brush and then go in with a sponge. And I do use a Huda Beauty foundation brush. really like how it applies and then I go in with a sponge, I actually got this Amazon, <laughs> and I'll link it. I really like these. I think the company's called Beaky. My makeup is like a mixture of um, name brands and drugstore brands, and it's the same thing with like my brushes. But for like the main part, it's definitely a lot of drugstore. So I'm going to start off with, I am going to mix, I'm going to mix two foundations. I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl that I showed you earlier to shape my eyebrows. And then I'm going to put a little bit of True Match. True Match. I usually would use only this when I'm self tanning or if I have a little bit of a tan. But because my self tanner already came off, I'm just going to mix it with this to kind of give it more of a skin tone that matches me, if that makes sense, because this actually is a little bit darker. Now I'm going to go in with my tree match and do you guys like see like how it just like makes it super like smooth Now I'm going to go in with my sponge to kind of press in the foundation. Alright, um, I'm going to put some chapstick on because that's looking a little crust. I'm going to go in with the same e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and I actually used the brush that I used to do my eyebrow I try to go light tap sometimes I get a little aggressive um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm 
Now I'm gonna do the nose. And I use my hand for the nose because I don't like a lot. Yeah, like our wedding isn't gonna be like anytime soon because we do want to have like a really nice wedding, but like without the struggle. Like with us, we would rather make sure that like we have everything secured and you know, we've saved enough to not take out like a huge loan that we're gonna be like forever in debt. So that's why like we're kind of like thinking in two to three years we'll have like our big wedding. The reason why I chose radiology is I used to play sports growing up. I was in soccer and softball and you know I've Oh, like I sprained like both my wrists, both my ankles. I tore my left knee ligament. Like I've been like going in, taking a bunch of x-rays. And I remember the guy was like so chill. And he just looked like he loved his job so much. And he brought back the x-ray and explained like what that tear is, the little bones, like what their names are, like the whole thing to me was just so fascinating. And I decided to do ultrasound because I really love babies and I just think it's just an exciting thing to just share with the person who's having the kid like, hey, like your baby's healthy or, you know, do you want to know the gender? I don't bake yet. I actually do my contour first because you know a lot of the time with a wet contour on top of like a powder you can tell like it's not blending together. I don't know how to explain it. But so I bake like after I contour. Um, again I'm gonna use a Beauty Beauty brush. This is the face and sculpt shade and this is like what I contour with. And the brush that I was using for my foundation, if you guys need to know the name, it's the Face Buff and Blend. For contouring, I do go in with Beauty Beauty. <laughs> it's the Tantor, and I am in the shade Light. And it looks like this. I'm gonna go back to the concealer and kind of tap it again just in case any lines. So to contour my nose, try to like go as little as possible. I use this side of the contour brush. Okay, now I can set my face. I go in with the Hina Beauty. It's the pound cake. I really like it. I go in with the Hina Beauty um, setting brush. It is the face bacon blend. Here it goes. And it has a shorter end and then a more like fluffier end and I use the fluffier end to kind of like set my whole face. This one I'm going to use to bake.
put on lashes. And I'm so excited. I just ordered um, some Batty B lashes. I went through like my first batch of her Batty Bs, like when she first came out with them. So I want to try like the new ones that she came, like Snub. I think there's like a new extra. And I ordered the eyelash curler and the fan. So I'm very excited for that. I'm going to go with some Demi Ardell lashes. I haven't used these ones yet. I tried this Eyelore London and I'm very happy that it's latex free. So I'm first gonna correct my lashes. I go in with a mascara. They're real by benefit. As I was like saying like how like we're getting me go prepared for this next school year. Um, me and Carlos and buy him a computer and I'm so proud of Carlos. He actually built the computer. Building a computer isn't easy and so like that was like definitely something that Carlos should feel very accomplished and proud of. Like I'm proud of him. We gave him a computer because with the whole homeschooling thing going on, but we just thought like it'd be easier for him to access all his schoolwork through the computer as well as it's kind of like a reward because he has been like really good this summer with listening, being polite, having manners, um, you know like we always try to teach him responsibility and he's been very good at it. We're just like really happy and proud of that kid. Definitely going down the right path. We're like proud to give him something that like he wants, but like it's also like beneficial for us because then this way we can teach him responsibility, owning a computer and you know, putting that trust on him is a big deal. So we're really happy. We're happy to see like what the future holds for him. I'm happy to see what he's gonna accomplish this year in third grade. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna start the lashes. So I'm gonna grab my glue and then we're gonna apply. I actually learned this from Jenny69 how to first like apply it on your lid and then let them both dry so I'm actually going to try that technique and then I'm going to let it dry and I have a fan next to me so as it's tacky I'm just going to start I start at the end first and then I work my way up here and I like use my fingers to just press it in and then once I feel like it's on there I pinch it and I will say that technique is like the easiest thing like i'm so happy i tried that technique from jenny69 so shout out to her for showing me a new way to apply lashes and they feel so secured and like i love it if you guys aren't following her follow her she is like what has helped me like be like you know what like f the the haters and like her confidence level is like everything to pursue this whole like YouTube chapter in my life. Recently I went and watched like her old videos and I'm just like, dude, like if she can do it, why can't I? If it becomes that later on where I like have a foundation, have a community of people watching me, like that is like such like a blessing and I'd be forever like grateful but if it doesn't like it's not gonna have me stop making YouTube videos.
like this is like what I love doing. I'm gonna go back in with mascara and then let it dry. And for this one, I'm gonna do the falsies push up by Maybelline. I really like it. I think it does like what it says. And this is like what the brush looks like. And this is like, I don't know if I said it earlier, but it's from the company Bestow. So I got like really affordable makeup brushes from Amazon. <laughs> and it's from the company called Bestow, and I really like them. They're really sturdy. Um, I have like a ton of brushes I haven't used from them yet, like they have like these cute little eyeshadow brushes, they have foundation brushes, all kinds of brushes. Um, I've washed these like twice already and none of like the hairs have come off or anything. So I'm just gonna comb. While that's setting, I am gonna go and blend my face and i'm gonna go in with the next it's the finishing powder and i did light medium i really like it it definitely like blends my face really well and it's loose and then i'm gonna go back with the face bacon blend and I'm going to use the more fluffier part. So I'm going to wipe and I'm actually going to go over the contour. I'm a little extra and I actually like to go in with the bronzing that I used earlier on my lid. So with the bronzer, I like to use like a more chunkier brush. And then I also squeeze it a little. And then I start by stifling it, but then I go in blending. <laughs> Noticing rest on my eyebrows, I'm gonna go back in with the brush just to kind of darken them in a little. So I'm gonna go in with the powder. Now I am going to curl my lashes. I'm gonna go in with more of their Real Benefit Mascara. And before I do my bottom lashes, I am gonna add a little bit of highlighter in the inner corner of my eyes. So your beauty. <laughs> it is a 3D highlighter palette. This is what it looks like. Very pretty colors, very summer. Um, it kind of gives you like a highlighter like step. I don't really follow it. I just use, I mainly use this one as you can tell. Go in with the, I think it's Say Chels. I think that's what it's called. And then I'm just gonna go into the inner corner. the small small stipple brush and then I'm gonna use the same highlighter that I use in the inner corner of my eyes for highlighting my face my nose I do like in here and then in the middle I don't really like go down I'll show you watch so 
because that's what I do instead of going down. I like create like a little button right here and then one right here. Go in on my bottom lashes and I'm going to use the Terra Real Benefit. And for the bottom lashes, I like to scrape off like the excess. So for my lips, I am going to use a MAC lipstick. It's the Matte World. Now we can see. to go in with the concealer again and actually put it on my lips to kind of lighten the color up. I need my finger. Sorry. I'm going to go in with lip gloss and it is the sexy mother pucker this is from soap and glory try it y'all this is the look i hope this video is not too long and i hope you guys enjoyed my little catch-up introduction video it honestly wasn't how I wanted it. To be honest, I actually wanted to be doing like my makeup while I was talking, but I think because I was just trying to catch you guys up and introduce myself that I got distracted with that. So I apologize. I hope you guys still enjoy this video. And if you guys have any questions, whether it's the products I use, where to get them, or anything that I discussed in this video, please leave a comment down below. This wasn't easy. <laughs> you guys got to see like the raw Natalie. I appreciate all the support, all my subscribers. You guys are amazing and I will see you guys real soon. And if you guys haven't checked out any of my other videos, Please go check them out, give them a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you guys haven't already subscribed to my family channel, it is actually under my feature channels. So check that out and I will see you guys soon. I promise I'm going to get better at vlogging more now that things have slowed down a bit. I'm up close with my look. This is it.